Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Math Tube, and this is lesson number 11 in the exam preparation series and these videos are specially designed for the first year engineering students who are studying in TU affiliated colleges and as always how to use the video lessons effectively and here we go one two three and four I hope you are trying to practice all these things anyway let's move ahead and start with the topic and before we start a small revision from the last video so you to remember whenever the equation of a plane is given look at this that green one that is the normal to the plane and that vector is given or the direction ratios that is what you call the direction ratios are given and now take a look at the blue dot that is on the plane that's a fixed point on the plane and the orange one it's any point on the plane and you know this vector that is the normal and you can find the vector AP simply x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 I am not using ijk and you call them the direction ratios okay and then the dot product will be zero because you can the, from the picture itself it's clear if you draw any line on the plane it will be perpendicular to the normal you can imagine any line on the plane that will be perpendicular to the normal that's why it's called normal and the dot product will be zero that means a into this plus b into this plus c into this okay so this is the basic equation of a plane and if you open the brackets and simplify the plane will look like ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to zero now the second one plane through the intersection of two planes so look at this in the last video we learned when two planes intersect a line will be formed and we learned how to write that line in symmetric form and today uh, we can see that we want the equation of a plane through the intersection of two other planes so when two planes intersect what will be formed okay a line now um, you can draw infinite number of planes through a line imagine you can draw infinite number of planes through a line in different 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 angles it's like a what do you call keeping a blade in different racks you can insert it from here from this direction from any direction okay and it goes like this so we have two planes and the intersection of the two planes is a line and any plane through that line look at this the line created by p1 and p2 and any plane through that line will be p1 plus lambda p2 equal to 0 and remember in such questions our aim will be to find lambda and some conditions will be given use those conditions find lambda okay now let's start so the first question obtain the equation of the plane passing through the line of intersection of the two planes okay so look at this it's given these two planes these two planes create a line and through that line we can draw infinite number of planes and we are interested in one of those planes so obtain the equation of the plane which passes through the line of intersection of the two planes and look at this I, I promised a lambda because uh, we have to find the value of lambda and for that they are going to give you a condition and perpendicular to the plane this it's really easy so the required plane is so look at this I kept the question here you can read it once more so 
this one and this one these two planes create a line and through that line we can draw infinite number of planes and all those planes are in the form p1 plus lambda p2 equal to 0 now let's rearrange a little bit uh, like this goes inside so you'll get 7x plus 4 lambda x and if you take x common you get 7 plus 4 lambda into x and you can write it a little bit easy so here and here so i'll write plus minus 4 minus 3 lambda into y and now these two so plus 7 minus 2 lambda with z and the last one that is 16 plus 13 lambda equal to 0 so as i told you before our aim is to find lambda so look at this we know the normal direction to this plane this is the standard equation of a plane ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 and i told you in the equation of the plane a b c represents the normal direction to the plane okay now our plane and another plane are perpendicular that means their normals are perpendicular and you learned in vectors if two vectors are perpendicular then the dot product will be zero or you can use the condition which is given in your textbook a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equal to zero but realize dot product is the same as a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to zero so here goes your a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to zero and you can simplify and lambda equal to 3 by 10 okay that's it that's it because we started confidently let the required plane be that means we know the answer but something was missing here now plug in this value and we'll get the answer okay now you can multiply throughout by 10 and simplify a little bit and here we have okay let's try one more question which keeps on coming in your past paper questions and that is find the equation of the plane through the line okay wow look at this through the line they didn't give you the equation of a line they have given two planes and in the last video we learned how to convert this into the symmetric form and i told you in the last video you can look at the corner or the roof or the you can just open a book and you'll be able to visualize the intersection of two planes create a line and in 3d the equation of a line will be written in symmetric form or parametric form and we learn how to convert this into the symmetric form okay and parallel to the coordinate axes okay so there's an important point we need the equation of a plane parallel to the coordinate axes i think they should have made the question a little bit more specific but we cannot help they have already asked in many question papers so i'll keep the question here so what is the equation of the plane through the line of intersection of two planes let's set p1 plus lambda p2 equal to zero i'll repeat once more suppose you have two planes p1 equal to zero and p2 equal to zero these two planes will create a line and through this line we can draw infinite number of planes and all the planes are given by p1 plus lambda p2 equal to 0. So we already have the answer, but look at that orange part. We need lambda. Okay, now 
can you imagine holding uh, a plane you can imagine holding a book or a sheet of paper um, parallel to x axis and the y axis and the z axis together that is why i said the question lacks a little bit of clarity so okay i have simplified it and i have written the direction ratios i'll keep them here now so can you imagine holding a book parallel to the x axis and the y axis and the z axis together i don't think so so case number 1 our required plane is parallel to the z axis okay now you remember one thing this these quantities that is the coefficient of x the coefficient of y the coefficient of z is the normal direction it is not on the plane but perpendicular to the plane and if a line is parallel to a plane look at this if a line comes parallel to a plane the normal will be perpendicular to that plane i'll repeat if a line lies parallel to the plane then the normal will be perpendicular to that line can you see this the green line is parallel to the green plane but perpendicular to the normal of the plane so we are going to use this fact so look at this our plane is parallel to the z axis that means the normal direction of our plane will be perpendicular to z axis clear okay now the direction ratio of z axis is very simple 0 0 1 and that's it we have two vectors and i told you before if you want you can by heart the formula from your books a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equal to 0 but always keep in mind direction ratios are nothing but vectors it shows the direction okay so we have the dot product equal to 0 and that gives me lambda equal to 1 and once you know lambda you solve the problem you can plug in here okay now case 2 now imagine our plane our required plane we already know the answer let's imagine our plane is parallel to the x axis now i told you before let's imagine a plane and a line parallel to the plane but these quantities are normal to the plane so we know the normal to the plane so it goes like this so this is our normal direction and this is the direction of our line or maybe this that's okay so the green normal is perpendicular to the red line but actually the line and the plane are parallel okay so normal perpendicular to x axis the direction ratio of x axis is 1 0 0 so the dot product is 0 and that means 2 plus 3 lambda will be equal to 0 so lambda will be minus 2 by 3 that's it i told you if you know lambda you just plug in those values and we get the answer okay now the third part okay i'm not going to repeat and waste your time you try to yourself so case 3 parallel to y axis yeah try to yourself okay so i'll be back with more videos so if you like the video like share and subscribe so till then bye